David Rossmer, Dan Lipton, and we wrote notes to Marianne. Yes, we did. Got a pocket, lonely little pocket, daddy's watching on Contemporary. Funny. Rock. Heartfelt. Unsentimental. Adventurous. Journey. Just journey. Just journey. You said it could use now. Right. Oh, we can use now. Yeah. Um, now to describe our show. Proper note? That's two words. Brooklyn. Mysterious. And it's a show uh, about the journey uh, people make um, from a difficult situation to a very hopeful situation. But it's not the kind of show that works cutting it down from its two hour length to 45 minutes. So we just chose for uh, consistency sake to do the first 45 minutes of the show from start to wherever that mark lands. Um, not because we uh, don't want people to see the rest of the show, we really do. We just didn't want to try and explain the show because it would kind of be like explaining the plot of Tom. Uh, it's called Merrimack, Kansas. Um, and I love it because it's a story song that uh, actually tells the backstory of another character who's not in the song. So it's, to me, an interesting way to get out of character's backstory. Um, and it's also, I think, musically um, very representative of the show. Actually, the title cut of the show is not uh, going to be uh, in this 45 minute presentation. The song, Notes to Marianne, happens at the end. It's kind of this cool surprise ending um, that you didn't expect. Um, but there's just no way to, to hit that. Doing the last 45 minutes of the show seems preposterous. The, the original title for the show, and this is so a while ago, yeah. um, the show used to be called Home. And I honestly forget why we changed it, other than it was, just seemed maybe a little too simple and too, uh, that could be about anything. Yeah. But it does uh, still sum up the essential basic theme of the show, which is yearning for home yeah. uh, and finding home wherever that may be. It could be cats, but it's taken. Um, it was at the O'Neill Center uh, a few years ago, and then the summer after that it was at New York Stage and Film. And um, although it's led to a lot of work for us, we really love the show and would like to see it go from that reading level to some kind of production. Uh, where we can continue to work on the show, but also see it on its feet. We have a great director, um, and we've done a lot of work uh, through the last few years on the show, and we're excited to kind of see it come to life. And, and there's a layer to the show that's very cinematic that would be nice to learn from and see on the stage. Because it will surprise you. Yeah, because if you like, uh, good words and an array of music all over the American spectrum and um, hopefully a compelling book comes to this hearty blend of those elements.